Okay, I think folks are going to like this follow up on the Gavin McInnes situation. So Gavin McInnes is uh, formerly one of the or he is one of the founders of Vice. He hasn't been involved with Vice for a very long time. He was one of the co-founders of the Proud Boys, although I am told he has since distanced himself from that extremist group. Uh, and in any case, the newest thing he's doing is he has a new show. And I was invited onto that program. I told you last week how uh, I was offered um, a whole bunch of money to be on that program. Others have reported, uh, including Sam Cedar, being offered five thousand dollars to appear on Gavin McInnes's program, which is a paywalled program, meaning you only can see the content if you become a paid subscriber. Uh, my manager actually did some negotiation with the Gavin McInnes team, which may have been actually just Gavin McInnes communicating with my manager under a different name and was able to actually negotiate um, a, a pretty substantial rate. And in the midst of this negotiation that was going on, I received a phone call from a guy named Jim telling me that I should appear on Gavin McInnes's show, who we later determined with like ninety nine point nine percent certainty was actually Gavin McInnes himself. Here's a reminder about that. OK, let's go next to our caller from the two five three area code. Who's calling today from two five three? Hey, David, it's uh, Jim. And I just wanted to say a uh, long time listener, first time caller. Love you. And I just wanted to talk about the Green New Deal and just see what ideas you had about maybe getting that pushed through. And also, um, a guy I despise came up on my YouTube the other day on a commercial, mm -hmm. Gavin McInnes, on this new show, Free Speech. And I was trying to click out of it right away. And then all of a sudden, I saw Dr. Cornell West and Mark Lamont Hill on the show. Yeah. And I actually checked it out, and um, it's a cool show in regards to just liberals <laughs> uh, nailing uh, Gavin, and it was so awesome to watch, especially Mark Lamont Hill. I canceled the, my subscription because I saw all the shows, but I just thought it'd be awesome if you could uh, get on his show and destroy him for so us. So hold please. on, you canceled <laughs> your subscription to what? Oh, I signed up just to watch the Dr. Lamont Hill. Uh, oh, 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 I see. And I see. Cornell Listen, West show the on thing. the uh, free um, speech. So then Sam Cedar from the Majority Report later did a segment explaining that he also had been invited to appear on Gavin McInnes's program. He also talked about this call I received from, quote, Jim, who appears to really have been Gavin himself. Uh, Anna Kasparian from the Young Turks was also invited. She did a segment about it in the last day or two and uh, covered that as well as uh, Sam and I being invited uh, onto the program to appear with Gavin McInnes. And now hilariously, Gavin himself has done an entire episode attacking us because despite the offer of money, we have at least so far refused to appear on his program, which is hilarious because if we will only so if we get invited with no with no money being on the table and we refuse to appear, we are not willing to engage with the other side or whatever. If we are offered money and appear, then it's well, we're only appearing because we were given money, not because we actually want to engage with the other side. If we turn down the appearance, despite the offer of thousands and thousands of dollars to appear, uh, then all of a sudden the problem is that we are just not willing to engage with the other side, even though you would think that it would be a sign of uh, a sort, sort of uh, the the, uh, the the fact that we are not going to be tainted or influenced by the money alone. We are going to actually make decisions about what appearances do and don't make sense. So check this out. This is a, a tweeted screenshot promoting this event where Gavin says, uh, this episode, this entire episode is dedicated to Anna Kasparian, Sam Cedar and David Pakman, who appear to be outraged that Gavin offered the money to debate a conservative. Why is it so hard to get liberal guests? Why do they consistently refuse to compete in the marketplace of ideas? And people actually wrote to me and they said, David, you really should address this. Like, why not just appear and compete in the marketplace of ideas with Gavin? What's important for you to understand is that the pitch was not debate Gavin McInnes about this topic or that topic or the corrosive nature of his influence uh, on the political uh, discourse. The invitation was show up and have Gavin McInnes play talk show host and moderate a discussion between David Pakman and some conservative. 
Sam Cedar and some conservative, Anna Kasparian and some conservative. And the 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 problem I have with this, and I've talked to Sam about this as well, is that I feel as though I'm contributing to the whitewashing of Gavin McInnes in a way that I was not immediately comfortable with. And to be clear, I have not actually turned this down. The reality is I can't go to New York City and do this until the fall. Anyway, I'm traveling every single week between now and Labor Day. And we have the David Pakman show summer vacation coming up for which I'll be out of the country. So we basically just tabled it. He, I guess, interpreted it as I'm turning down the appearance. I'm open in principle to appearing on Gavin McInnes's program. But what I feel is the real problem here is that, number one, again, by allowing him to play talk show host and moderate a discussion between another conservative and me, uh, I'm sort of whitewashing McInnes. And again, these are videos that would be paywalled just for his paid audience. The last thing I want to do is give this guy paid subscribers by allowing him to promote an appearance that I did with someone else that contributes to the whitewashing of Gavin McInnes and may actually get people to sign up and pay for his program. Uh, now, I'm, I'm curious. I haven't again because the show is paywalled. I have no idea what was actually said during this episode. I'm curious whether he addresses the fact that he called into my show pretending to be a guy named Jim, suggesting that I should really as a leftist go and appear on Gavin McInnes's program. I, I don't know if somebody has a subscription to his program. Maybe they can tell me if that comes up. My guess is it does not come up.